Welcome back to Hey Try This Guys and today I'm going to be putting sulfuric acid with an iPhone and see what happens. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy the sacrifice. The iPhone is turned on. First the iPhone only lasted about a few seconds when it turned on in the acid and it short circuited. I actually thought I didn't even turn it on at one point. Initially I filmed everything on video. The home button started to discolor and then it started to emit some sort of residue into the acid. This is the back of the iPhone. Not much really happened but when I sped up the video you can see a lot of the color dissolving into the acid and it even bubbled a little bit as well. At this point you can see the acid breaking away the home button and you see the blackening around the edge of the iPhone. Bubbles are starting to come out of the iPhone slowly. I assumed that the acid breaking down the aluminium. However, this isn't the case. It was just air bubbles trapped in the iPhone trying to release into the acid. This is a close-up of what's happening. You can see the bubbles accumulating around the edge of the phone. It seems like the bubbles are mainly accumulating around the edge of the phone. If you look closely, the plastic seals of the phone is starting to swell up and soaking in acid. At this point, I found the video was taking too long, so I used time lapse to document the reaction instead. And bits of the plastic is starting to separate from the phone. You can see the home button is completely lost its whiteness and it's revealing a, a type of foil. The edge is completely going black. This is about 3 a.m. or 15 hours into reaction. The white of the phone is starting to dissolve and revealing a black and burnt edge. And the inside of the phone is starting to dissolve, creating some sort of soft black cloud. This is another angle of the iPhone disintegrating. You can see a black purple dusty cloud on the top of the acid. I assumed this was the inside of the iPhone disintegrating and then slowly seeping through the acid, floating to the top. The acid is getting more and more yellow at this point. This is time lapse of the iPhone on the next day, approximately about 26 hours into the reaction. The solution is getting even more darker and darker. And the bottom of the iPhone is completely covered in this black, dark cloud. I've decided to stop the experiment here and take out the iPhone. Alright guys, so the iPhone has been in there for more than 48 hours. So I'm going to take it out now and see what's happened. Whoa. Gosh. With the iPhone out of the acid now, you can actually see some dissolved bits stuck in between the glass and the phone. There seemed to be some sort of soggy cling wrap plastic hanging off it. It seems like it's been the melted plastic from the acid. The home button is completely discolored and all the sealed plastic is dissolved from the sulfuric acid and broken down. You can tell the acid is soaked up the sides and broken down the plastic that seals around the iPhone and it completely opened up the iPhone as well. It even left some sort of white residue around the edges. The acid has completely dissolved all the color on the phone and exposed the raw aluminium and left it bubbly. I'm quite surprised that the aluminium didn't dissolve. You can clearly see where the acid meets with the iPhone compared to where the phone is not in contact with the acid and only the air. There you go guys, if you have a spare iPhone lying around and you want to melt it and you have sulfuric acid, go ahead and do it. But I'll let you know this, it won't turn on. So I try to press it on, the iPhone button is stuck and it won't turn on. So. There you go guys, if you like these type of videos, remember to support me, hit subscribe, hit like, comment below, tell me what you like about these videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.